That black your magic, 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 black your magic, that black your magic. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Sugar Girl Princess, and I'm back at it again with another video. Today's video, as you guys can see, is gonna be a mukbang. It's gonna be a hot and juicy mukbang. I've been wanting to do one of these for the longest. I've actually recently done one with my friend Moni, but that was for her channel, so I decided to do one for my channel. And I've been craving crabs like all month so it was about that time and today's a sunday you know sundays are always perfect to eat hot and juicy so so while i'm eating these juicy crabs i'll be answering some questions and giving you guys advice on a couple of topics and stuff like that i ask you guys on instagram to send me questions and topics to talk about so i don't just sit here and eat and be annoying also going to be answering questions that you guys really wanted to know and like giving you guys my opinion on certain like situations that you guys are going through or that's happening in the world so yeah without any further ado let's get into this so i got a pound of shrimp with the hot and juicy baby spice um sauce because i can't really eat spicy food so like the baby spice is not like all the way spicy it's like a little bit just like a dab of spice it's still good i also got a pound of king crab legs my favorite that's probably the only thing that i get from hot and juicy today i got shrimp because i had a taste of some shrimp also so yeah i got a pound of king crab legs with potatoes and corn i also got a strawberry lemonade Alright, so what should I start with first? Hmm. So I think I should start off with like introducing myself or whatever. If you're new to my channel, my name is Armanda. Most of you guys don't know my first name because um because most people just call me Glow. Yes, I do go by Glow, but my first name is Armanda. So I'm Armanda, I'm 21 years old. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe. Join the gang. I still need like a name for subscriber friends. I'm so bad at that. So if you guys have like a good name for me, let me know down below. Yeah, I'm 21. Um, I'm Gabonese, born and raised. I'm a model, part-time YouTuber. Now, look at me trying to call myself a YouTuber. I'm not officially a YouTuber yet until I hit 100k, but we are on the road to 100k, period, subscribe. I basically do a little bit of everything, I just do me. I wanted to get that out the way because I know most of you guys don't really, you know, know me, so those are the basics. So let me get the first question. Would you ever get back in another relationship? Hold on. Let me get a taste of my crap first before I even, like, you know, get juicy on here. You guys, look at this. This is the king crab leg. So, <laughs> I need to get some scissors because I can never get into this crab. Because the king crab legs has like spikes all on it and it should be so hard to crack. But I'm gonna get some scissors because we're gonna get to this today. Here. The first question, would I ever get into another relationship? Hmm, I'm not really looking for relationships right now. As you guys know, I just got out of a relationship. It was just so crazy for me. <clears throat> Most of you guys don't know this unless you know me, know me. But before my last relationship, I was in a relationship in another relationship for like 10 years. It probably would have been like 11 now, but yes, 10 years. You guys are probably like, what? No way. Yeah, I was in a relationship for like a very, very long time. He was my first everything. And, and you know, most of like my teenage years, I was cussed. I was in a relationship. So I didn't really care or focus on anything else but my relationship. And I feel like right now I want to focus on myself. I want to spend more time with myself. I want to get to know myself better. I just want to like be all about me. Don't get me wrong, relationships are good. You know, they're fun, especially when you find the right one. But that's very hard to do, so I don't know. 
if God wants me to be in a relationship, he will send me a nice, healthy, dope ass, real relationship right now. But as of right now, I'm not looking for a relationship. I'm not, you know, I'm just What do you not. think about girls who used to be rude to other girls in high school? Those be the miserable, miserable, miserable ass females. Like, honestly, I'm the type. Look at this potato, you guys. So juicy. Mm. Oh my gosh. It's so good. But, like I was saying, I like that hate people that be rude for no reason. Like, I just can't stand people who be rude for no reason. Like, what's the purpose? So, those girls that just be having attitudes and be trying to bully people and be rude for no reason. And those would be the insecure ones. <clears throat> those would be the girls that's low-key going through stuff at home. And they want to put that energy out on other people. It's just sad, honestly. Sad. But you just got to let them be sad. You, you got to ignore it. That's how I got through it. It's just so bad. Somebody said dating advice, boys advice, don't date, leave boys alone, and I promise you, you'll be the happiest on earth. I'm honestly convinced that men are the devil. You know how people say that Eve is the reason why um, humans are not gods anymore or whatever? I think it's a lie. I feel like I feel like it was Adam's fault. Because the way that men are evil, it makes no sense. It just doesn't. Of course, they had to blame it on Eve because she's a woman. But really, it was Adam. He probably cheated on her. Who knows? It probably was like a whole sad chick we didn't know about. But instead of telling us that, they blamed it on Eve. Don't believe everything she on TV. I'm really trying to sit here and answer these questions, but you guys are just basically asking me questions about makeup. It's like, what the hell? I understand y'all want to know, like, all my makeup tricks and stuff like that. Just go watch my Get Ready With Me's, like, you know? I thought y'all was going to send me some juicy questions, like, oh my goodness. Look at this. This shit is about to be bop. Look at that. Look at that. Somebody said dealing with boys. This is supposed to be a hot girl summer. Y'all all seem like y'all heartbroken or something. All these questions about boys. <laughs> but what I would say is you got to treat Niggas how they treat you. You gotta be mentally a boy to be able to handle a boy. And that's just real shit. Period. Cause men love to take advantage of like girls that are too giving, too forgiving, too sweet. You gotta play them how they do you. Treat them how they treat you. I'm not gonna have it right now. Mm. Mm. How did I build up my social media? Um, to be honest, my social media kind of just like took up on its own. All right. I never wanted to be, well, I never planned to be like this influencer, this popping ass popular ass chick on Instagram like that was literally never the goal I never really cared about all that but I always knew for some reason that I was going to be one of those people that's like known because throughout my whole life I was always cool I was always one of the cool girls you know people always loved my personality my looks and all that 
but before anything i wanted to be a model i always knew that i wanted to be a model so i was just doing my thing you know doing my shoots and like posting my pictures my selfies and like i used to barely even I used to barely get on Instagram and like every time I would get on I would post a photo and like get off and don't get on for like a whole week when I would come back my picture would have like a whole bunch of likes. People started sharing my pictures and it's just like people and people just started following me so it kind of just happened. I feel like people sense when you're trying to like force the whole social media thing. If it's for you it will happen you know. either way or another because people can sense when you're like original when you're real and they're gonna want to like you know keep up with that but if you're just doing a whole bunch of fake shit for like clout and shit like that it's gonna be so easy to read so just be authentic and be consistent with whatever you're doing and it'll happen i'm gonna get back my potato i'm not even eating my shrimp like it's just so good i don't know which one to eat I'm gonna get a taste of these juicy shrimps. Mm. Yo, when I tell you, hot and juicy is the best. I can't eat seafood from anywhere else if it's not hot and juicy, period. How to take care of yourself mentally. I would say spend a lot of time with yourself get to know yourself on like a deeper mental type of like vibe treat yourself good you know like sometimes i be having mental breakdowns like i be over the world i be over people i don't feel like talking and what i would do is just take like a whole week to myself to just eat good get like a massage but be like on youtube watching people that's like very inspiring when you watch things that are all like inspiring and like people that just make you want to get up make you want to feel better <clears throat> it helps a lot so instead of keeping up with the shade room and watching all these messy ass tea pages you need to go to church look up some people on youtube that be preaching positive vibes that just be doing positive stuff you know so you just have to make sure that the energy that you intake is positive positive energy all around period i promise you it will make you feel so much better let me go ahead and taste this corn a little bit mm, it's so juicy It's like the corn just sucked up the juice from the bag and it's just like so good how to deal with strict parents um growing up my mom was always strict at least when it comes to me i used to always get my butt wet i was very rebellious i did not listen i used to always want to do whatever i wanted so I don't know. I would say your parents are always right. Listen to them. Because they're probably the only ones out here that have the best interest. So if they say don't hang out with this person, don't go to this party, don't get no tattoos, don't get no piercing at this age, don't have sex, listen to them. Because they know. I actually appreciate that my mom was straight on me growing up. <clears throat> Even though I didn't listen, I still did things that I wanted to do. Like she would be like, she would be like, don't get tattoos and don't do this and that. And I would go and do it just because she told me not to do it. Like, what's wrong with me? I really don't know. I hate when people tell me what to do. So if you tell me not to do something, that's basically you telling me to do it. Because I would do it. Just because, you know, to prove a point, like, you can't tell me what to do. Like, all my tattoos I got at a young age when I was like 14, 15, don't be like me. And I regret every single one of them literally every single one of them listen to your parents because they just want you to turn out good and just be like and be a good kid once you're 18 you could get out and do whatever the fuck you want but while your mindset <clears throat> is still young and immature listen to your parents what are your pet peeves when it comes to boys huh boys are my pet peeves period <laughs> my last 
problem. I already know it's about to be a whole bunch of meat in this. I'm low key full. I'm not even gonna hold y'all. I'm so full. So bad. I'm making a mess. I'm gonna have to clean all this up. Yeah, so this is pretty much gonna be the end of this video because I ran out of questions. That's pretty much was all that you guys sent me. And I'm gonna try to do another mukbang because this one was in like it didn't come out as good as I wanted it to be. Because you guys didn't ask me enough juicy questions. Um, I'm gonna do another one and make sure for the other one, send me some good questions. I mean, these were good questions, but they weren't all that juicy or like, you know, fun. Thank you so much for sending me the questions. Um, the food was bomb. I didn't finish it. I still have a whole bunch of shrimps. I literally only ate like three, but I'm going to save it for my sister so she could enjoy this meal as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know down below what other type of videos you guys want to see on my channel. Also, leave me a thumbs up, comment, and a subscribe if you're new. And I will see you guys in my next video.